Hey y'alls, this is real life again. <laughs> my hair is all messed up, I haven't showered yet today, I'm not wearing a bra, I'm wearing my jammies. I have a kidney infection right now, so I don't really feel that great. I'm on the mend though, I'm gonna be fine, everything's all good. I'm, I'm on antibiotics and I should be feeling much better in a day or two here. Anyways, um, I am feeling good enough to boss Michael around a little bit <laughs> to uh, get the nail polish room ready. We are in my basement right now and I'm going to show you, this is gonna be more like a before and after. I'm not sure how much in progress you'll be able to see because we're gonna try and like bang as much out of this as we can before Arlo wakes up. So I'm gonna show you the before of how horrendous this room looks and fair warning, it's not going to be like crystal clean by the end of this video because only a small portion of the room is a nail polish corner and the rest is like multi-purpose office room, guest room, storage space. So it's gonna still look kind of a, uh, God, my arm. <sighs> I'm, I'm pretty fatigued today. That's what happens when you're sick. Anyways, I guess I'll just do a quick pan and uh, our whole family is kind of a, uh, we're kind of looking kind of grungy today. Hi, baby. Um, don't don't get near. Don't get too close to the heater. <laughs> no, don't put those there. Okay, so this is the entrance to the office room. That's like our nice little guest room area. And this is the office space. It has a an air mattress in here because when my niece and nephew come to save. Oh, that is oogie boogie. Is that what Daddy's gonna be for Halloween? Anyways, this is like the whole room, very multi-purpose space. This air mattress is still gonna be here because my niece and nephew are gonna come stay tomorrow. Um, treadmill, this is kind of like supposed to be Michael's. Oh, here's Michael's uh, geology space over here. And then... That's space because there's a telescope. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And then this is a table that I've been using for nail art and it's like um, a super big mess. Here's my nail corner. And hopefully by the end of this, it will look amazing. We have two more nail polish racks over there that we're gonna put up and we're gonna move the one way over there on the end. We're gonna move that on top so it'll be kind of like, more of like a rectangle of nail polish instead of just, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh my God, my hair. Oh. It looks nice, baby, it's, it looks nice. It looks frizzy and fun. <laughs> I, don't, I don't look good. Okay, so anyways, this is, this is the before, y'all. There's but tons of nail polish in these drawers. Nail polish here. Nail polish here. There's some nail polish over there. And let's hopefully we can get it all put in one place. Everett, can you wave to the camera? Oh, don't laugh. Don't laugh. You wanna wave? Show them what you got. What do you got? Show them this. What does it say? Okay. No. <laughs> All right, so hopefully when we pop back, it'll look a lot different. So this is what we have now. Going to have the six racks here, and then these two littler ones that I have. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. And then also, since I'm going to be using this table, again, excuse the chaos. <laughs> um, this table is going to be used for like my nail art station. It's really easy to set up my tripod on here and to get lighting here so I can film like actual nail videos right here. When I used to do it on my corner desk, it was like almost impossible to have enough room for all the lights and everything else that I needed. So I think this table is gonna house like one of um, the standing rack. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure what's going to be on these racks, but this desk will be less for nail art and maybe just for like everyday painting or things like that um or just like another extra workspace and then there'll be i think a table whatever a shelf what is that called the stair step stair step racks <laughs> so up here i plan on putting color clubs and zoyas but i'm not really sure how much i have of both so we'll just we'll see what happens so here's in progress um we ran out of room for china glazes, so there's some china glaze over there, and I'm still trying to decide what to do there. We've got color clubs up there that are all kind of messed up and in jumbled collections. Those are Zoya's over there. There's some nine zeros on that tiny rack over there. And then I'm working on the drawers right now. I, yeah, I'm kind of stuck because I don't know what to do. And I did just want to personally thank Katie from Total Polish Junkie for organizing this when she came over in, uh, in the summertime. <laughs> Uh, the only problem is, is that I got one more Deborah Littman the other day, 
and it doesn't fit now. <laughs> and I'm not really sure what to do with this container because it's perfectly organized and everything, but it doesn't really fit in any drawers or anything. So thankfully it's organized by brand though. So even if I have to take them out, I'm very appreciative that it's done. So now I just have to figure out, do they go in drawers? And also we probably have to fill, we have to build a new set of these little Melmer things. So we'll see. Hey guys. So this is, I think many, many, many days <laughs> later um, since the last clip. And first I just want to apologize that this video is very disjunct and it wasn't as comprehensive as I wanted it to be, but um, I had to do a lot of the actual like organizing work like in the middle of the night when there was like no light and stuff like that. <laughs> so it wouldn't have really made a ton of sense for me to film it anyways because I do rely, I have some natural light over there from that window. Yes, this this whole side of the room is still quite messy because a lot of this is storage. A lot of it's not going to get any better than this. <laughs> but so anyways, I do rely at least partially on natural light and I do have some really crappy other lights over here that I even have to cover with paper and stuff, which I gotta imagine is not like the smartest thing to do, but that's another thing for another day. And hopefully I will be able to get some lighting for Christmas maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So anyways, I just wanted to check back in with you. I am mostly done. I have not organized the polishes back into collections. And I'm still not sure, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to. That's how I used to have, especially my china glazes. I had them organized by collection, um, which really helped me to remember them. But since I've been out of the game for so long, I don't remember what collections are what anyways. Um, <laughs> so I don't really know if it's like super helpful to me to have them organized like that. So anyways, I'm just going to show you kind of what we ended up with. Wow, the lighting is not great. Anyways, let me go over here. I'm going to show you um, where I landed with like how I'm going to organize it as of right now and I'm sure things will have to be tweaked as time goes on and I'm sure that before I do my comprehensive huge nail polish collection um, it will hopefully be perfected, hopefully. And I'm still not exactly sure how you guys, like how should I film the nail polish collection video because last time I um. I kind of just showed a roundabout of where everything was and then I kind of just like swept through so you could see all the polishes on the racks. Um, so I might do something similar to that. I'm not, I don't know. Let me know what, like what you guys would want to see from Nail Polish Collection. The only thing I will not do um, is <laughs> like each individual polish because that video would be way too long. Sorry if you can hear Arlo on the baby monitor. He's trying to get himself to go down for a nap. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the only thing I won't do just because that would literally take up way too much time and by the time that I got through one brand I would probably already have new polishes that I would need to add into it and it's just that's just way too much, way too crazy. And I don't really know if anybody would even want to watch that video. <laughs> so, we're just not gonna do that. Um, I have done in the past individual brand collections, like these are all my China glazes, these are all my Zoyas and all that stuff, but um, the collections that I have done, the brands that I have done that for, those, my collection of those brands has ballooned. Even though I have done tons of D stashes and stuff, I still, I don't know how, because I feel like I'm never buying nail polish anymore. I used to buy a ton, but I can't remember the last time. I mean, I got nail polish for my birthday over a month ago, so. I guess that wasn't over a month ago. I don't even know what <laughs> what day it is. Anyways, this little clip is getting way too long. So I'm just gonna get through, like go through what, what has happened. Um, okay, this table actually got a little bit messy because I was looking through my polishes for, or looking through my stamping plates, looking for Halloween stuff, which that's a whole nother thing. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, this down here is a little de-stash giveaway kind of thing. Some of that stuff is not good enough to give away. Some of it I'm probably just gonna have to like totally get rid of, but this is the wall racks. I'll start up here. And these are the color clubs. And I sort of tried to do them by collection, but that didn't work. And I'm starting to feel like I'm missing a lot of my color clubs and I don't really know where they are. 
and then I continued it up there. I'm still not sure how to organize these if I'm just gonna let leave this gap and just fill it in over time or what, I don't really know. And then over here are the Zoyas and then they come down here. And then these three racks are all China Glaze. China Glaze is probably my favorite brand to buy from. Well, hmm, maybe Color Club is, I don't know. <laughs> And I just have accumulated a lot of uh, China Glaze. On a lot of these, I, you can see they've been, they need to be loved some more. Some of them need to be shaken up and stuff, but it is what it is. And then China Glaze continues over on this smaller rack over here. Okay, sorry, it sounded like my Arlo baby needed me, so I ran upstairs real quick. Um, so yeah, this is like the overflow China Glaze, and this is where I'm confused as to what to do, because I don't really love that there's like this huge gap, and then this, and then also I imagine that that this space right here, <laughs> it's not going to last very long. I know I should probably de-stash some China Glazes and stuff, so maybe it will. Um, I don't know, maybe if I get super ambitious I could de-stash and just clear this whole rack off so I could have this free, but I, I don't know. I'm still wondering what to do. And then this little rack over here, I've got my 9-0 collection and then apparently a ruby wing that it's not supposed to be there. I don't know why it's there. Um, oh yeah, and I got this. This was my, my mom and sister bought this for me on my, uh, my bachelorette party, which I thought was super cute. Um, and I like to keep it around. It keeps me feeling, you know, pumped up. And then, uh, Maybe in the future I would put more racks here. I don't really I don't really know the plan is that I will set up a chair like here And then like film with this my, being my background again because I miss this I miss my collection being my background. It just was very visually Appealing I really like that. Um, so anyways over here These are all full of nail polish minus These right here. This is Nail care so base coats top coats files all that stuff this, oops, this one is some nail art stuff. I have some more, but this is the stuff that I use more frequently. So this is just like the easy to grab stuff because most of the time I think I'm going to be working at this table. So we'll see. And then this is just other stuff. Um, I did take the stamping plates were in there, these square ones. So that was just what was in there. And then everything else is nail polish and I'm not going to get too in depth because because yeah that's another video that's going to be my polish collection but everything else is nail polish <laughs> so then I still have to organize these two boxes I don't really know what these are and then this is all basically garbage in there that I have to get rid of all of that see what's recycling see what's you know and then on the desk I I have these things here like these fit nail polishes, these this does. This I used to have a bunch of nail polish like in the background, which was really cute, which I might still try and set that up. And then I've got this that's empty that I can put nail polish on. But I'm just not sure which brands and which things to do. I like to have things separated by brand. Um, so I'm not sure if I have a collection, like if I have a brand that would fit nicely on there. So I don't know, I still have to look. This is my everyday nail caddy thing that I take with me when I do my nails anywhere else in the house. And I did do a video, I think, it, I guess it was probably over a year ago now that I did a video about this. Um, although it was like way more, it was kind of like a crapshoot in there <laughs> back then. But um, now it's a little bit more organized because I got everything else organized. There's a nail art rat or a mat. And this one is like okay, but I don't find myself wanting to use it very frequently. Let me know if you guys have like a mat that you like a lot that you make like decals on or things like that. That would be helpful information to me. And then this area, this drawer is still broken. It was broken when it arrived to us when we bought it a long time ago. And we still haven't fixed it because... I don't know. <laughs> because we haven't gotten around to a lot of things. And the, basically this vanity right here, um, I've had it, oh, there's my finger. I've had it for an extremely long time and two years, I think. And I still haven't used it because this whole place, when I moved into this house two years ago now, yeah. When I moved in two years ago, I, I just didn't have the motivation to set this whole area up. So basically we put up three of those nail polish racks and then just like, or four, I don't know. We just put up those and like I just sh like shoved my china glaze on there and just called it a day. 
and I hadn't, like there were still so many boxes full of nail polish that I hadn't unpacked yet from moving in two years ago. <laughs> so now everything is finally unpacked. And this is one of the things that we bought to make this nail, like to make this like my space and I was gonna do my makeup down here. And I still might um, some days, especially if I'm doing something kind of like more glam or something. But I just, if I do makeup, I rarely do anything crazy. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is the vanity. I got it on Target.com. It was the very last one, and it even arrived broken, so that's lame. But this is just overflow makeup that doesn't fit in my little caboodles that I use. And I had to put, I'm sure you'll notice these risers. I had to put risers under here because I don't know who is tiny enough to fit their legs under there. I certainly am not. Like, I had to, I would have to, like, sit on the floor for this thing to have worked, and it came with, like, this little teeny tiny ottoman stool thing that you're supposed to sit on to do your makeup. No, that didn't work for me. <laughs> so, this is the, but this is the OG chair that I've been using in all my videos since the beginning of my channel. My mom painted it pretty pink for me. Um, so yeah, that's my, my vanity area. There's me, hello, hello, hello. And then, oh yeah, and then last thing I organized, this is like acetone, nail thinner, stuff like that, some cotton pads and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that is basically where we're at with this room. I guess I will close it out. Um, if you have any organizing suggestions or anything like that for me, let me know. I know this video was just supposed to be a little bit more thought out. So I'm not in love with how this turned out, but at the same time, whatever. You guys get to see some stuff. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I'm, this, the new philosophy of my channel is gonna have to be um, just roll with it. And I just have to deal with things not being perfect because sometimes it's just not perfect. And I don't have five billion years to sit here and try and like refilm an entire video for you. I mean, I can't even refilm this. I already did the work. I'm not gonna like mess it all up again <laughs> and refilm it. Um, but yeah, so that is, uh, everything for the, my nail corner room. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Hopefully I come up with something that sounds interesting. Um, and I guess this is a partial nail polish collection video. Um, again, let me know what kind of video you want to see. Um, what, how I should structure the nail polish collection video. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to get get going on some Halloween nail art. I had a way cooler idea for the nail art, but it did not, it did not work out because it turns out that the stamp that I, oops, uh, the stamping plate that I thought that I had, I don't have it. So we'll see about that. And I, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you hopefully very, very soon. Sorry that things are a little bit more spread out. Um, like the videos, I mean, there's, life is really busy and it's gonna be probably for a little while because my son's birthday is soon and everything is just crazy. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.